feel the drum beat, wild ones. Woohoo! It's Friday! And I'm Bird Den, and I'm here with your pick a card tarot reading, and it is. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm gonna explain this reading to you guys. If you see me, I'm all like, ah, 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 because this week has just been, and, and the hits keep rolling in. Today is, it's Past Life Friday. Yesterday was Past Life Thursday, day before Past Life Wednesday, and so on and so forth. But this is like craziness. Okay. So let me just say this first. The card that's come out for y'all today is the elephant. And um, that's the justice card in my own award-winning arc animal uh, tarot and oracle deck. I, I'm so shocked I can't even tell y'all the name of my deck. And uh, let me just get a couple things of housekeeping out of the way. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Pick up your copy of the arc animal tarot and oracle deck. And for goodness sake, do yourself a favor and join the uh, join my forums, gatheringofmystics.com, gatheringofmystics.com. We've got an amazing forum uh, forums going on over there. We talk about spirit totem and power animals, aura, chakra, psychic readings, tarot readings, divination, just spiritual growth in general. Go. It's going to be fantastic. And it's very safe and it's private. They belong to me, those forums, and they are moderated. Um, so you're not going to have to suffer the shenanigans that you suffer, uh, you know, elsewhere. So, uh, unless they're fun shenanigans, right? <laughs> We're going to do fun shenanigans with, I think the other day I said it was margaritas. This time, this time, Let's do pina coladas. If you like pina coladas, what to do? Because I live in Florida. Anyway, okay. So um, so the first thing is first. So this reading is not about me. It's about y'all. But it does explain, um, well, okay, it's for all of us. But still, it, it really explains something to me, which is uh, just a few weeks back, I I had this dream and I woke up and my body was like vibrating and thrum thrumming. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to get a drum. And then later in a few meditations, when it had to do with readings or whatever, I was shown a drum and I was shown me beating a drum. And I think I mentioned it in a video or whatever. I've never really wanted a drum or a shaman's rattle or any, you know, like that. Like, you know, if I want to get into my flow or my whatever, uh, I'll go in my backyard in my t-shirt, my shorts and my flip-flops because that's how we roll here in Florida. But I don't know if y'all noticed, but this week I've been dressed, uh, just really being called to dress in, in my ceremonial kind of stuff. And I just, the, the heart, my heart just wants to be out West. It wants to be um, with the indigenous culture that I know I'm from in some life or many, many lifetimes. I just know it. And it's still, it's the, it's, it's the culture that, uh, it, and not just the Native American culture, we're talking like, you know, over in the Amazon and over in Africa, it's like a tribally related kind of thing. The, 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 the music and the culture and the food and the colors, it's just always been my thing, right? And, and I also know that I spent lifetimes in England. I, I just don't feel any place else, you know, in the West in America, when, when, you know, when the Native American culture started out of there. And those are really the only cultures um, that I have resonated with. I love all cultures, but my heart just yearns and burns and cries to be in those places. Well, that's not true. Over in Nepal, uh, and the Himalayas, that place. Um, and I think I shared with y'all one time I had a cartography reading done and uh, the astrologer said I had spent most of my lifetimes in Nepal in the uh, Himalayas and the, um, uh, that's where my soul wanted to be in this lifetime, which is true. So that said, here's where this reading is going and what it has to do with elephant and has to do for you. So the justice card can be about balance and it can be about, you know, getting justice for things and having the right, you know, the right, the right circumstance win, like, you know, the right will out. But it's also about cosmic law and natural law. And that's really what you're being called to pay attention to today, especially with elephant coming into the mix, because um, it's interesting that most people think that the justice card is a man sitting there. Indeed, she is not. It is the it is the lady of justice. And in the, uh, in, in, in elephant herds, it will, in, in elephant, you know, in the elephant world, it's a matriarchal society. And when we see, uh, elephants come to us or we identify with elephants, it's really about all of our relations and elephant really wants us to remember that all it's like, all of your family is your sacred history, but not just your family in this world, in this moment, in this time. It's all of your family spinning back over lifetimes, which is why there are family healing 
protocols and, and, and belief systems and, and, and programs like Family Constellations is one where it heals the family's DNA and it goes back through this generation, but through generations after generations. Lots of people do uh, past life meditations to heal themselves and maybe do some healing on the family unit, that kind of thing. So all that said, um, today is Friday. The ruling um, chakra is the throat chakra and the ruling planet is Venus. And that's all about love. That's about any kind of love that you could possibly think of. Self-love, family love, love for critters, love for Mother Gaia, you know, love for your crystals. I know y'all out there are just like, got your crystals going. And, um, you know, I love Nam, Ch Nam Champa incense. I, I, I keep it burning almost every day, all day. It's it's an unbelievable obsession. And and so consequently, my house smells like Nam Champa. So um, it really is today about giving voice to what you love. But when I started feeling that through my throat chakra this morning, I, as elephant came into me, well, really I aligned with that part of myself that is elephant. And I was shown about the vibration, which, which dovetails back to the drum. Um, and you'll see it here. This is the beginnings of the drum that I ordered from my friend, Catherine Skaggs. If you go to katherineskaggs.com, Catherine is the um, creator and artist of the legendary best-selling mythical goddess Tarot. And I'm very, very fortunate to be able to call her my sister. And she just makes the most unbelievable drums. Like she makes the drums, whatever size to get whatever intonation that you vibe with, so on and so forth. She makes the, she makes the um, drum beady thingy. What is, it's Friday y'all, I'm a little tired. Um, and I'm not, I'm not totally with y'all. I'm, I'm way, way out there in Never Never Land um, with, with the elephants. Um, but elephants communicate via vibration and they do communicate with sound, but they've got sounds that they make that are such low tones that the human ear can't hear it. Like dogs can make the, they can hear the high pitch things that we can't hear. Elephants make these tones that uh, are, they, they settle into Mother Gaia and they travel through vibration. And that's what you're being called today. It's about the vibration. What vibrations are you picking up and what vibrations are you sending out? And they, so that's going to be your form of communication. So let's just say that, you know, um, and it's justice. So it's about natural law. Okay. So natural law is, you know, I believe in, I, I believe in the natural laws that I've read, but to be clear, you know, man, mankind made them up and, and hopefully those are true messages that have come from, you know, from outer sources, right? The, the, the people that ended up writing natural law or, or deciding this is natural law, there was a process that went into it. And I don't know that. And so it's probably a good plan if I look it up. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. But anytime you start adding the word law into something, I, I'm like, okay, who wrote that? Who made it up? Who's following that law? And why are they following it? Okay. Because why? Because we're wild and free here in the wild pack. We think for ourselves, we're independent, we're strong, we're strong, independent people. And that's just that. And the animal spirit guides help us be ever so much more so. I know you're listening and I know you know that was for you ever so much more so. So th the vibration is the big deal. And now I understand why I was called to pick up that drum. I think I've mentioned or get that drum. I think I've told you before that I never really resonated with drumming until somebody explained to me that really what it is, is the heartbeat of mother guy. And all of a sudden I heard it differently because I saw it differently. I'm a flute person. I love the native American flute. I love, you know, that, that, not wispy, but like almost angelic -y kind of wind instruments, that kind of thing that really resonates with me. Right. So, but all of a sudden, not, not tinny drums that drives me crazy, but deep resonant drums that just go through you like you're hearing an elephant vibration. Okay. There we go. So when we take a look at natural law, we, we, we think that it's eternal and I, I, and unchangeable, and it's based on these principles. Um, and it's kind of like, I don't know, moral, moral principles determine how people treat each other. And, you know, they teach you that respect is earned or it's lost, but universal or natural law is not like that. It's intended to preserve the balance, the equilibrium, the necessary to keep the universe going. Okay. Whatever is necessary for you, to get things in equilibrium, it's, it, it is, it, it's incumbent upon you to do that, but you're going to do that through vibration. And what that means is this, 
it can be argued if you if you totally buy into the laws of nature or natural law or the laws of the universe that they're inescapable that everything you say feel think do has an unescapable consequence but it's not based on a tit for tat principle it's not based on an eye for an eye principle it's it's based on it, it's based on well what really is going to occur karmically so to speak that's going to get you to be able to get to or another person to get to that equilibrium where the good is equal with the stuff that's got to be improved on or maybe wasn't so great now again bernadette knows that there's a world out there somewhere where it's not like that everything is paradise and everything is in the light and every you know especially not every living thing has to consume another living thing to to sustain life so many people i know um that will argue there is no world like that. It's just not possible because there has to be a balance. Okay, maybe, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sticking to my belief. And I understand beliefs aren't facts, but how you communicate through vibration, especially on a Friday, which is the day of love, and right below here sits the heart chakra, you know, your throat chakra, it's all about what tone are you going to use? What acts are you going to make? Um, and maybe even, I don't know why I'm being shown this, but coming to understand, which you already do, but lots of other people don't, there are people that would poo-poo, well, that do poo-poo the idea that elements, that elephants grieve that they hold rituals and ceremonies for those who have crossed over, whether it's a human that they loved or it's somebody in their herd. Um, they are they are conscious animals. Now, I know you believe that and you think that because you wouldn't be listening to my channel if you didn't. But because there are a lot of people that don't know it, think it, believe it, it's still going to be incumbent upon you to share with them the vibrations that will help them or the situation or even you get to an equilibrium, uh, a place that's balanced and a place that's going to be, um, it won't have any kind of any danger, any ugliness, any mal, you know, mal, just malice, anything like that, a complete total place of love. Now, some for some of you, that may mean trumpeting so that it blows their eardrums out. That's entirely possible that carries a vibration of its own. Some of you, it will be just showing up. You don't have to say anything, you just have to show up. And that carries a vibration of its own, not only just from your heart, but from the physical act of you getting in a vehicle or walking or doing whatever, whatever that, whatever that rhythm is, whatever that vibration is that you're laying down in the physical and also in the emotional, they're gonna pick it up. For some of you, it may mean having a conversation that's out of another person's earshot but is with another person about that person to help them. Something that comes to mind immediately is any of you that might be caring for, you know, sick folks, elderly, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what age they are, but you might be caring for people that are sick or ill, critically ill, maybe even. Um, and that is, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically, this may, this may go to you. You know, if you're like me, okay, big admission with Bernadette, I posted a thing on Facebook the other day about, you know, uh, being too independent or whatever it read is a, is a trauma reaction that you learn somewhere along the way. Oh, I understand how all of, oh, I get it. That's how all of this works. As long as I take care of myself, I'm groovy and I can't get hurt if somebody else doesn't help me, love me, do this or whatever, because if I, or fails me in some way, if I, if I am upset at anybody, I'll just have to be upset at myself. What else is new? And I, consequently, I could be, well, it used to be until about a year ago, I could be dying on the ground and not ask anybody for a drink of water or for help for nothing. You know, if I blew a tire, oh, ma'am, do you need help with that? I'm good. I'm just waiting. On, I'm waiting on AAA or I'm waiting, you know, come on now. So this might be about you knowing that or trusting or understanding that let's say you're the one that people are trying to help and maybe it hurts your feeling. Maybe it makes you angry. Maybe at this, maybe you think no one helps you. You're, you're one of those people that are like, God, why is it always me? Why, why, uh, 
Why do I always have to do this on my own? You don't. You never had to. You don't. And you never had to. And you don't. And you never had to. So it would be wise for you today, potentially very helpful for you to work with, uh, with vibration, with elephant energy, with the justice card, the archetype, and understand that it's you in the now, but it's about you, you and your ancestors in the past. It's about the family. It's about the feminine divine. It's about the sacred feminine. And there, and, and that's whether you're a man or a woman or, or, or you identify with neither or everything. It doesn't matter. It, it is based on the feminine principle, which is a receptive principle, but it's also a life giving and life affirming principle. And so it is, it's just my deep honor, y'all. It's just my deep honor to share these messages with you because as fun and funny and lighthearted and everything that the spirit animals can get, they can also support us and inspire us through lifetimes after lifetimes. And that's some heavy duty lifting, which only an elephant could do. They're the largest land mammal, right? So I... I, I just wish you so, so many blessings on this journey to vibrational healing, to vibrational energies, whether you're needing it for yourself, you're helping with others, it might be both. You, you're going to do great. You really are going to do great. So with that, I will say again, please pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, subscribe to my YouTube channel and register for free. Um, at gatheringofmystics.com and come, come be part of all the shenanigans and everything wonderful that goes on for there. But what's the most important thing today and every day? To do good for animals and to stay wild. Oh.